Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good, who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series. And our goal is to arm you, to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're gonna piggyback off of some of the other videos we've done. And in this video, we're gonna talk about systems that are set up incorrectly. And what I mean by that, when your installer installs your new system, maybe they don't program the thermostat properly and they take a moment and just to make sure everything is set properly, test it, make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to, and just taking a moment to make sure it is set up correctly. Another thing would be the dip switches. I touched on that in another video, but just making sure that those dip switches are set the way they're supposed to, and you would not believe how many calls we've had going out and finding out that they were not set properly when the installer installed them. And then sometimes it's just a matter of just taking a moment, reading the instructions, setting those dip switches the way they need to be set, whether it be for the airflow or other requirements that that system might need. Another thing would be just setting up that system's airflow and making sure you're checking the static pressure, making sure everything is operating the way it's supposed to. I can't tell you how many times other installers install that system in the winter time, won't answer their phone in summertime, only to find out when we go out there that the airflow was not set up properly and that's why the homeowner is now having issues. Another thing would be setting up the lockouts correctly. So if you have a, a system that you're going to have some sort of a lockout on there, maybe it's a dual fuel system and you're going to lock out the system when it reaches a certain temperature or goes below a certain temperature and just making sure all that is set up correctly. We see it all the time where installers are not doing that the way they're supposed to. And the last thing I'll just touch on is defrost cycle time. There are times when we will adjust that. Times when we know that it's gonna need a longer defrost cycle because of one reason or another, they're gonna have issues. When you're talking about installing equipment, we're going to talk about accessories. And what I mean by that is whether you're having indoor air quality accessories installed, maybe it's a UV light or an ionizer or some sort of air cleaner, not taking a moment to install it properly. Maybe it's sloppy. Maybe they didn't read the instructions and that's why you're having issues. We had a company that had gone out of business years ago and they had installed all these UV lights for their customers only to find out with the particular brand that they installed, they were connecting to the power to where the board was supplying power to these UV lights, which was then causing the boards to malfunction. It was a nightmare. But the point is, when you're installing these accessories, keeping those things in mind, making sure everything is going to be installed properly, reading the instructions, and installing all of these indoor air quality components, and thinking about the homeowner when it comes to the future. Another thing would be installing accessories when they're not designed to be used for what they're being used for. And we've seen ventilation systems 
or dehumidifiers installed in ways that they're not going to be able to do for you, the homeowner, that they're supposed to. We've seen corners cut when it comes to thermostats and things like that. Just making sure that the system can do what it's supposed to do I've seen regular heat pump thermostats installed on dual fuel systems and they wonder why they're having issues or wonder why they're burning more gas or wondering why it's not running as efficiently as it should. These are all things that the installer should take into account, think ahead a little bit and make sure that they're doing what they can so that way the homeowner does not have future headaches. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad, avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.